it's very common that you'll want to add a title or some kind of text onto the screen of your video. I'm going to revert back to the original layout to bring my browser back, and I'm going to show the titles and generators sidebar. You'll notice there's two categories, generators and titles. And if I open up the titles category, we see the various types of titles. You can select one of these categories and see just that type of title. So in this video, I'm going to show you two types of titles, but definitely go into these and experiment with all the other ones that are there. But the first one I want to show you is just the basic title. So I'm going to click and drag this title onto the project and let go of it. For titles, they're going to show up in this purple color, is this purple bar. And wherever that title, wherever this bar is listed, that title is going to show up on the screen. So you'll notice on the screen here, the word title is just right in the middle. With titles, you can double click on the text and just start typing in the title that you want to show up. So in this case, this whole film is called Overtime. So maybe I want a, an opening title. So I'll just type in Overtime. On the right side in the inspector, we do get a titles inspector that allows us to go in and make changes to it. So you get some presets for styles at the top here that you can ma manipulate and, and use. Uh, but you also have some of the more basic parameters for text, like what font you're going to use. The... Uh, variation of that font, the size of the font, line spacing, all kinds of stuff. And you'll notice some of these things that I uh, select don't have an effect on the text because we only have one line uh, and some of the fonts don't have variations to it. But you can also select specific text and make changes to just those letters. So for example, if I want over uh, to be larger and time to be smaller, I can do that here. Uh, with any of these parameters, just like we saw with effects, you can hit the button on the right to reset uh, that parameter back to the default. So if I want everything to be the same size, I'll select all of the word over time, make an adjustment to this. Let's put it at like 80 as the size. And I want it to be all caps, so like capital letters there. We'll change the O here to a lowercase so it's all capitals at the same size. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. It's only adjusting time, so I'll select everything. There we go, make it a little bit bigger. I can move the position using the on-screen controls or do it here in the inspector, either one. Uh, the other thing to note, we've done all the basic uh, editing, but down here at the bottom, you have your face, your outline glow, a drop shadow, other effects here. So don't hesitate, go over in the right, hit the show button so that you can see these options. For example, with the face, this is the color of the font, which right now is just set to white. But we can actually choose a texture, and it'll use a specific type of texture for this font, which comes up if I use these styles. So let's go and use like old wood, for example. Old wood is going to make this text look as if it was kind of carved out of an old wood material. But I could change that, and here are all the other materials that we could use that are built in uh, to Final Cut. So that's working with uh, some of these 3D fonts and text. Uh, you could do a drop shadow if you want to. That's actually very common. So we'll, we'll enable a drop shadow here uh, for this font. And especially if I bring this over, you can see right under the letter E here, that's where that drop shadow is very apparent. It's very subtle changes, but it can make your font uh, and your title really stand out by making those adjustments there. Um, cool. So that's a, that's a basic title and one that you might use uh, on your project. I'm going to delete that one, just clicking and hit delete. And the other title I want to show is a lower third. So this is a common type of title that shows up in the lower third corner of your video. This is very commonly used to show a person's name uh, show up. And for example, we have one here animating, comes onto the screen. Or if we want the information bar, we can do that in one as well. So let's use the information bar. I'm going to drag that down. Uh, on to Simon over here. Let's say we're trying to add his name. I can expand the clip by extending it. And then in our title text here, I'm going to type in Simon. And we'll give him, he's our office worker there. And that's it, right? I just typed in some titles, put it on. If we play this back, we'll see how this looks. 
Just let loose and have some fun, all right? <laughs> and pretty straightforward, right? But if we select this title inside of the first inspector here, this will show us the published parameters. So you might have noticed that the basic title that we used earlier had no published parameters. There were no controls to it. But in this case, with this title, it's a little bit more advanced. So we do see some of those published parameters. For example, the build in and the build out, those are the animations that happen at the beginning and the end to fade the title in. I can disable those just by unchecking those boxes there. We can also change the line uh, color. So let's go in and change that. We want the font color to be a little bit different. Maybe that bar in the background should be a different color. We can go through and customize that title. So these are all things that you have access to here inside of Final Cut, which is really nice. And then the final thing I want to show you is working with keyframes again. We've talked about this before, but all of these parameters that show this little diamond on the right are keyframable. You can actually make changes to them. So let me do Command Z to take our title back here. And let's just focus on the name here of Simon. To do this, I'm actually going to zoom in. We'll go up to 200%. I'll use this little box to reposition it so we can just see the, the text here. And what I actually want to have happened over the, the length of this title is I want the color of the text that says Simon to be changing. So I'm going to take the playhead back to the beginning of this clip. I'm going to go into the line one color. Uh, on the right side, I'm going to add a keyframe. And we're going to start this off on a color wheel here in, as green. I'm going to start off with a green color. This is going to be very ugly, but that's, that's okay. I'm going to change this into about the middle of the title. I'm going to add another keyframe that for the color, only this time I'm going to change it over to red. And if for some reason the color is not changing, you can drag the little well here right into the color space uh, there into that well, and it'll update it. Does that look good? And then let's go to the end of the title. I'm going to add another keyframe. And only this time we're going to go over to the other side I'm going to do a light blue and drop that in there. OK. Now, in theory, this is going to change that color over the length of time. Before it uh, does that, kind of already really quickly did it, you might have noticed there's a little dotted line at the top of the, the title there. And let me make another change here. I'm just going to take this to 53. Notice this dotted line at the top? That lets us know that this title is unrendered. So it's not going to play back at the full quality that is included. However, if I stop moving the mouse, the auto render takes over and it renders that title so that we can see that effect in a better quality, um, in, in better quality. So let's play this back. I'm still zoomed in, so it's gonna be a little grainy, but we should see that color changing. Really? Just let loose and have some fun, all right? So you notice we keyframed the color of Simon of the text there to change between red, green, all those different colors. So as we're playing it, it is actually changing colors. So again, I'm going to do Shift Z, mute my speakers here, play it back, and we'll see that color is changing in the lower Let's third. Loose and have some fun, all right? So that's another way that you can use keyframes to manipulate the parameters that you have there. And in this case, we created some titles using both the basic text and a lower third, in this case, the information bar. Take some time now to go up and use some of these other titles and see what parameters are available to you and start getting familiar with how you can manipulate those titles.